So, like, with the Rebel Air Race, you know, disbanding for next year, um, I mean, what's your thoughts on that? Obviously, it's a bit of a disappointment for you. It was a big disappointment for me because basically I think I lost uh, my championship this year because they cancelled it early. But from a long term point of view, I think it's good because it's like reboot uh, your computer, you know. So they are shutting down right now. They're doing all their planning for the future. And then once they come up again, it will be an even better air race, you know. And I'm hoping for that. And I'm a positive guy. And I'm waiting for that. I'm training for that. So I'm looking forward into the future of air race. And have you been following the Formula One season this year? I've been following uh, as much as I had time, you know, always like a little bit of what's going on. And uh, I was exciting, you know, because I know how much it means to have the fastest car in, a, in an environment like Formula One. So I was excited for Red Bull that they succeeded that, that much, you know. I was exciting when I saw a little bit the fight between uh, Weber and Vettel, you know because it's so human, you know, and then it's like team, tactics, machine, politics, sponsors, everything. And then the other ones for sure pushing hard. So I think uh, for me, basically as an outsider from the Formula One, it was uh, the most exciting Formula One year I ever had in mind. And who's going to win then? The championship and the race? Championship and the race. Uh, to be honest, maybe Red Bull doesn't like me right now, but I think it will be Alonso. Oh. <laughs>